What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. Glad to have you here. I want to tell you the gospel. The word gospel means good news. The good news is that God loves us. John 3.16 says, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, so that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. See, we were all born into sin. We all do wrong. There's no man that hasn't sinned. And God is a holy and righteous God. And he can't allow any sinner, anyone who has done wrong, who isn't in holy, righteous perfection into his kingdom. And see, blood equals life. The Bible says the life is in the blood. And that's why in the Old Testament, they would make animal sacrifices to atone for their sins. That was a sacrifice they were making. That, that was their animals. And the animals had to be sacrificed for the blood to atone for their sins. Because it's life. Our sin brings death. God wants to give us life. And through the blood, the animals were sacrificed to atone for our, our sins so that we don't have to die that death. That was the Old Testament. And that was for certain people. Now the New Testament, Jesus came. Jesus is God, the Son of God. There's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus pre-existed, came down into a human body 2,000 years ago, faced all the temptations and trials that we face, but lived a perfect, holy, and righteous life. He did no wrong. And then he died, shed his blood for us, for our sins. So the death that we deserve he took upon himself and the life his perfect life that he lived out is imputed to us through faith because we can't earn it we all do wrong there's no way we can make ourselves righteous before God because we all do wrong but through Jesus his perfect life and his shed blood through faith in him we receive his righteousness and we are made perfect. Our spirit is made perfect in the sight of God. He covers us. His blood covers us. See, everyone is going to stand before God for judgment one day. And anyone who hasn't received forgiveness of sins and been made right with God is going to be judged and thrown into the lake of fire for the second death of body and soul destroyed forever. God requires perfection in order to inherit eternal life. None of us are perfect. We all sin and fall short of the glory of God. There's nothing we can do to earn a right standing with God. That's why Jesus came. He came 2,000 years ago, born as a human, faced temptation just like us, but lived a perfect life. And although he was perfect, did no wrong, he died on the cross for our sins. And through faith in him, we receive forgiveness of our sins. God forgives us. And we're made righteous in the sight of a holy God. And can enter his kingdom. So to be saved. We have to believe. In the death, burial, and resurrection. Of Jesus. He died. And rose again three days later. So through him. Through faith in him. Even if we die. We are raised up to eternal life with him. We must believe that, have faith in him, and repent. Turn away from our sins and fully submit to God. Fully submit our lives to, to God. Fully submit our lives to Jesus and follow him. We can't just believe in what he did and still live a sinful lifestyle not that we'll never sin again we all sin 
but we need to strive to live a holy lifestyle. We need to truly submit ourselves to God and follow Him. That's the end of this video. Thank y'all for tuning in. If you want to see more content, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I'll be talking to y'all soon. Shalom.